GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems. Have you ever used your smartphone to check the weather radar? Have you ever used it to uh, check the traffic? If you have, then you're using GIS. It's a way to store and manage geospatial data, and I use it to visually represent that data through maps and web apps that are available to the public. Working in GIS is kind of like a form of like kind of being an artist, and you're also providing real-time information to the public. Some of the things people might see on the maps would be projects that are being built in the cities. You can use it with the current development viewer. It'll show you any upcoming projects that are currently being built or even proposed. Uh, we also track car accidents, motor vehicle accidents. It really identifies you know, the locations where we really need to focus our, our messaging to the public. Uh, without GIS, it would be very difficult to do so. We always have to know where our pipes, our valves, our pumps, our meters, and other facilities and structures are located. And GIS shows us how all these features interact and makes that information available to anyone in the department at any time. It's a lot easier than having to find paper records and old data for any particular map, especially as the city continues to grow. We created a tool for the public to use that lets you search for a property, any property on the map in the city of Northport, and click on it to see whether that property is connected to the city's water and sewer systems. It's simple, uh, easy to use, and provides useful information for current property owners or people that may be looking to move to Northport. Public Works uses GIS to monitor sidewalk maintenance, like trip hazards in real time. They also use it for web applications for, to monitor creek blockages and they also use it to assist uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife law enforcement for the conservation of gopher tortoises. GIS is a great tool for expressing geospatial data in a visual manner, so this way anyone can approach the data and understand what is happening with it. I, I'm still learning. There's so much data that comes into play. The public can use GIS web maps as a way to stay up to date with current information within the city.